Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in Studio 31 at CBS Television City in Hollywood, where the new Ed Scalvin Show, presented by Johnson's Wax, makers of super hard gloss glow coat, is about to begin. Here is the celebrated composer-conductor, Mr. David Rose. And his orchestra. Our wonderful dancing group, the Redettes. And here's our lovely and charming guest star, Miss Mary McCarty. the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm sorry that uh, Lamont's name's not Freddie, because uh, always uh, Robert Montgomery says, thank you, Freddie. <laughs> but uh, we'll present tonight. By the way, I feel wonderful tonight. Being with Johnson's Wax, today I went out and I polished my car. Really, really, truly, I used car, uh, the Johnson's car new, and I look, this is what the car looked like when I started. <laughs> you won't believe that. This is what the car looked like after. <laughs> now, if you don't believe me, you go out and try it on your car. As a matter of fact, go to some enemy's house, polish his car, and he'll ever recognize it again. <laughs> While we're getting ready now to start the show, here's a word from our sponsors, Johnson's Wax. Hmm. This is the home of Mrs. Thomas, and this is the day and the exact time when Mrs. Thomas always does her kitchen floor. Let's watch her do it. Why, what's up? This is the day for doing the floor. This is the time for it. Where's Mrs. Thomas? Here I am. I'm not doing the floor today. Why should I? It looks like a million dollars. I've damp mopped it several times, but I haven't had to put polish on it in ages. You know why. Glow coat. Hard gloss glow coat, the way you find it in the stores today, with the word super on the can. Makes that shine just wear on and on. Throws my polishing schedule all out of kilter. But who's complaining? I'll make a new schedule with some time to take it easy. Try the new hard gloss glow coat. Super hard gloss glow coat. A new exclusive formula. Super hard gloss glow coat wears on and on where substitutes wear off. And now we take you to the home of Red Skelton, where Reggie the butler is engaged in his favorite hobby. Yes, he certainly is a little beauty, even if I do say so myself. Let's see how the engine runs. Reggie! Reggie! We're being invaded! What is it? Oh, is that what's making the noise? Why, yes, sir. Good heavens. Did you make that yourself? I certainly did, sir. Oh, you didn't. Isn't that a beauty? Thank you. Welcome. That's all. Pip, pip. Cheerio. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tell me, it's rather a good job, isn't it, sir? Well, See how trim she is? Mm -hmm. And look at those stabilizers. Uh, and by the way, uh, look at that rudder. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell me, have you ever seen a model with better equipment? <laughs> well, once the lighting city... No, no, please. please. <laughs> ah, really? You see, this happens to be my... Favorite hobby, and a hobby is a wonderful thing. It's yeah. so relaxing. Mr. Skelton, you should have a hobby. It oh, will no. do you loads of good. No, I feel great now. I feel wonderful. Feel uh, great. Really? Well, I did up to a minute ago. Why? <laughs> well, uh, frankly, sir, if I may say so, you haven't been at all yourself lately. Well, who have I been? I don't know. <laughs> great improvement, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes, but you, you, you should... Have a, uh, a, a hobby, sir. Oh. Now, uh, tell me, you're extremely nervous. Come along, uh, put out your hands. Oh? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Look, I, your hands are shaking. Oh, that's my hobby. Shaking <laughs> <Taking> hands. <laughs> now, that hand may be shaking, but you put a martini in there and watch it steady down. <laughs> please, please, no time for joking. Now, please, uh, I'd like to see your tongue. Huh? Stick out your tongue. Why? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Sir, but I want to see your tongue. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's much too fast, sir. Oh, well, well. Uh, let it hang a little, will you? <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> you stick your tongue out. 
Feather. Feather. It's hooked on. I thought. What? Your tongue has a coat on. Well, I told you it was cold out. <laughs> Listen, I have an idea. What's that? There's a show called the Do-It-Yourself Show downtown. Why don't you run down there and find yourself a hobby? Huh? Might be a good idea. Yes, yes. Now, come along. Well, Give okay. you a little, a little brush off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Brush. Oh, I'm sick of it. Your hat. Thank you. You're off to the hobby show. Now, come along. Now, I'm, I'm along. not going to run. I'll do it my usual dignified and elegant manner. <laughs> <laughs> Escape. Well, that's quite all right. Uh, you haven't hurt it at all. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the Do It Yourself Show. Welcome, and have a good time. Hello, hiya. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't being rude. All right. They, I thought I recognized you for a minute there. Say, maybe you could help me out. I'm looking for a hobby. Well, I'm not it, Buster. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have been, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Well, hello. May I interest you in a demonstration? What do you got in mind? I mean, uh, <laughs> what do you have? Well, we have everything in the photographic line. Oh, really? Oh, yes, we have a dark room. Well, let's go to the dark room, see what develops. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a negative answer. Mm. You positive? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't being rude, ma'am. Believe me, I wasn't. I was... Oh, good heavens. Those flash bulbs, I bet I broke them. I better see if I broke them. <laughs> Good heavens, there goes some more. Poor girl. Break these bulbs, you'll get in trouble. That's a good one. That's a good one. You poor little thing spit out like that. Uh-huh. Just as I thought, a bad one. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm, uh, counting spots in front of my eyes. <laughs> hey, mister, would you like a free sample? <laughs> well, I've seen things in front of my eyes before, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's a lady talking to you. Yeah. Would you like a free sample, bud? Well, how much is it going to cost? I ain't going to cost you nothing. It's free of charge. No charge at all. No, it's a sample of our new automobile safety strap. Yeah. Oh, I'm not... Well, what is it? Please, here. Now, look, you down here. We're showing these to everybody in the interest of automobile safety. I guarantee after you try one of these straps, you'll never want to ride without one. Really? It's pretty wonderful. Doesn't it feel good to you? Yeah. It would huh? be nice for the kids. They couldn't get out of that. Yeah, <laughs> now you can get the week out of bond and that's no, can you, huh? I'm in here solid. Ah, uh, we nailed him, right? We got it. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'd like to talk to you about our $895 do-it-yourself trailer kit. What do I want with a $895 do-it-yourself trailer kit? Why, hasn't anybody ever told you about vacationing in your trailer? You ride through the country, through the pines, seeing you smell like good fresh air. Oh, you begin to feel wonderful, son. You begin to feel like a bird. That's it. You feel just like a bird. A bird with wings. A bird with a throat. I got a feeling I'm going to lay an egg. <laughs> Oh, the kid is yours. Oh, no, I'm not signing anything. Last time I signed a piece of paper, the next thing I knew I was saying to a supply sergeant, these underwear are too tight. <laughs> I'm not signing nothing. I'm, I'm uh, just yours. the bottom line. That's it, boy. I'm sorry, Lenny. That's that. Nothing. Thank all. you very much. We'll fill in the rest later. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, you're going to be so happy building this set, you won't know what to do. Look, lady, I never built anything in my life. Did you have an erector set when you were a kid? Well, I was 10 years old. What'd you build? Nothing. I couldn't figure out how to open a box. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Did it again. Oh, you're a <laughs> 
got nothing. Boy, the instructions are very easy. Really? They really are. Yeah, look at these. Put them out for these me. These are the instructions? These are they. Wait a moment, can I eat that? Now, listen, honey, even a five-year-old kid could read those instructions. No kidding. <laughs> What's this, the condensed version for Reader's Digest? <laughs> See tomorrow, and you'll get you'll get the kit tomorrow afternoon. Will that be happy? But you can take the tools now with you. Give me the tools, want, will you? I don't want any. Yeah, now look, take the instructions with you, put them in your pocket, and read them when you're I don't want this stuff, ladies. Look, now there must be. This is something else for you. There. <laughs> I bet you just don't have to have a place to build that trailer, do you? Yeah, I bet I just don't. <laughs> well, just so happens I know of a place, a beautiful spot called Sadie Murphy's Trailer Camp. Sadie Murphy's, huh? Oh, it's very elegant, very classy. Yeah. Anybody who's everybody goes there. You know, all the cultured people, everybody, poor people, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Sadie what? good looking, huh? Oh, is she beautiful. Honey, she is so wild, she wears open-toed shoes and picks up cigarette butts on rainy days. <laughs> <laughs> Too, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, it just so happens that from now on I'm going to pay attention at rehearsals. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you don't love Sadie. She is a wild one, and yeah. I ought to know. Why? Right. Honey, I'm Sadie Murphy. Yeah. No. Oh. Johnson's Wax announces a remarkable new product called Johnson's Blem. Blem is a professional furniture restoring compound that rubs out burns, scratches, white marks, and other stubborn mars that no furniture polish can touch. Now, a cigarette burn on a table or desk could be tragic, but it doesn't have to be when you have Johnson's new Blem on hand. Let's see what Blem does to the cigarette burn. All you do is squeeze a little Blem onto a soft, clean cloth and rub thoroughly over the damaged area. Then rub it off with a clean cloth. See? The burned area is beautifully restored. Blem is equally effective on scratches, white marks, and other stubborn mars, on all medium and dark finishes. Now, we don't claim that Blem is a cure-all, but we do say this. If Johnson's Blem won't repair the damage, Nothing short of a professional refinishing job will. Here's how to get your tube of Johnson's New Blem. Right now, a free tube of Blem comes with every bottle of Johnson's Pride. Pride, you know, is the wonderful Johnson's Wax discovery that waxes furniture without rubbing. Buy Johnson's Pride and get Johnson's Blem free. Look for this special package at your dealers now.
Almost, almost. Can I help you? Yeah, if you Give want to. Give me the hammer. There you are. You got a nail? Right there. Right, you hold it. Oh, Ready? morning, Sadie. Hi, honey. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. What's the matter with you? Mm. Oh, nothing. Just oversensitive, I guess. Oh! Hey, oh! <laughs> you know, Sadie, you're the kind of girl I'd like to take home to smother. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, don't you? No, no. Uh, it's all finished. Would you like to go in and see it? I'd love to. Be my guest. Be all the right. first one. Mm, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up against the wall. Hey, where's the door? Well, I put a door on here somewhere. Well, there's got to be a door somewhere. Maybe it's on the roof. Well, let's go look for it. You yeah, want there's to? There's a big window around? in the back. We'll crawl through the window. I got it on here. I'll put that door somewhere. It's got to be here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. That's, that's a good idea. Put it's a door right in. That's you, huh? Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. It folds it up. Nice, yeah. huh? <laughs> nice place for the sink, too. Yeah, it's convenient. There's no pipes, though. No pipes. Yeah? But it comes in handy. You can wash your hands and feet at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little nigh, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's your bed? Where do you sleep? Let's see. Where'd I put that bed now? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, here. <laughs> Of course, I don't sleep much. You no, know. no, I don't. <laughs> I think this is very cozy. I, I don't think you ever get lonesome here, you no, know? No, you get acquainted with yourself pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you got a radio, too, huh? Can I put it on? Turn it on. Okay. It on. Get a little music for it. <laughs> what are they playing, by a water flow? I like a cheap record of ebb tide, don't I? <laughs> Hey. Oh! I must have crossed the wire. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I don't mean to be personal or anything like that, you know, but how do you turn on the radio? Like everybody else, you plug in the toaster. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me for not knowing that. <laughs> nice. Isn't that nice? Sounds like Dave Rose, don't it? Yeah, sure yeah. does. <laughs> How about a little drink? A little drink? Hey, now you're talking. I got some cold tomato juice. Hey, just stop talking. <laughs> Here, just sit down. Make yourself at home. There you are. <laughs> you pull up a chair. <laughs> Oh, in it, <laughs> Not only that, but Koozie. <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah, you'd think now that we got a sponsor, they wouldn't cut that tomato juice. Stop. You ought to be drinking my card. <laughs> Look, I'll get a straw. I'll get All right. Nice place, though. Uh, you mind very much if I turn the music up a little bit? Uh, yeah. Kind of makes it more romantic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that music do something to you, honey? Oh, eat your heart out. Sure does. I want to talk Isn't it to wonderful you. what you can do with a do-it-yourself kit, huh? Isn't it beautiful? I want to talk to you. What's up? I want to talk to you about marriage. <laughs> about marriage? Yeah, Let's yeah. talk about something pleasant like uh, the weather. All right, it's, uh, it's good weather for getting married, ain't it? What's <laughs> this wedding kit with you? Oh, nothing. I just feel like the... The road company in Chatted Cottage. You know, I feel a little romantic. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe after a while I'll, uh, I'll slip into something real comfortable for you, like, uh, like a wedding gown. Huh? <laughs> I love the looks of you, the lure of you, the sweet of you, the pure of you, the you 
the east, west, north, and the south of you. I'd like to gain complete control of you and handle even the heart and soul of you. So love at least a small percent of me too. Cause I Love thee. Um, the face? No. The hair? No. Uh, I like the. Um, well, there should be something there you can like. I know you just gonna love the words, ain't you? The. Um, well, the. Uh, I know what it is. It's me in a sweater. I always drive men crazy in a sweater. And they're <laughs> east, west, north, and the south of France. I'd like to gain complete. What's my hand? Control of you. My arm. <laughs> and handle oh, my heart. The heart and soul of you. You're stopping the circulation. So love at least a small percent of me do. Oh, you beautiful dog. I love all of you. Reggie. Pardon me, sir, but I think you built that door upside down. Well, Reggie, my Denny. <laughs> <laughs> sir, do you know what I've been and gone and brought you, sir? <laughs> no, what have you been and gone and brought me? <laughs> tasties and tasties for the trailer warming, sir. Oh, the trailer warming. Well, isn't that stuff? Hey, who's your handsome friend? This is Reggie, my butler. Reggie, this is Sadie Murphy. Hi. Miss Murphy. Hey, ain't he the romantic one, huh? <laughs> Did you ever think about getting married? Getting married? <laughs> Certainly not. Much too, uh, much too undignified. Oh, really? That's the trouble about you fellas. You know, you just take a look at a girl and you look at her surface value, that's all. Now, just because I look like a rat, that don't mean I am one, you know. Well, I wouldn't say... And, listen, I can say another thing. I can look just as cute as any of these other tomatoes around here. I really can't. I'll prove it to you. I'll go out and I'll rent a dress, have a bowl of haircut, Cologne up a little bit, ah, you'll never know me when you do. Shall we eat it up? Yeah, let's eat it. Oh, He's a lot of fun. Oh, 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 responsible for everything. It's not their fault. I, I'm guilty. I well, what are you talking about? Well, what's up? Did you see a bear? That you what? A bear. A bear? No. Sadie, pull down your shade! <laughs> I can't tell these folks there's a bear loose around here. A bear? All right, all right. Nothing to get excited about. Are you sure you didn't see this bear? Well, has he got any identifying marks? Yeah, yeah. He's about six feet tall. He's got long teeth. Hair all over. Yeah, him. hair. What are you trying to do, kid me? Now, come on, come on, I need you fellas to help look for the bear. You too, come on. Come on. Yeah. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get down. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi, hi. Look, I want you to get... Well, don't you recognize me? Sadie Murphy. Well, it ain't voluptuous. Sadie, <laughs> please, we're busy. Who did you say that was? Sadie Murphy. Sadie Murphy? Yeah, she was a trailer camp. Oh, I can't be the Sadie Murphy I know. Sadie! Danny O'Rourke. Why, it's Danny. He used to be my sergeant in the Army. Really? Sadie, I've been looking for you for years. Attention. Present, arms. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's you. Uh, how about it? Sure, and it's a lucky day for the attic. <laughs> and I sound like a Barry Fitzgerald. No, old Fitzgerald, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yes, isn't that romantic? Look at them there. Ah, there they are, standing there so sweet in the moonlight. There they are, arms in arms. Really romantic, isn't it, there? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they've been getting no more parking tickets, either. <laughs> Oh, uh, they're looking for you. <laughs> Sadie, 
Sadie, you surprised me. You know, I'd never believe that your arm's awful heavy, Reggie. <laughs> you never know, dressed up like that, you're altogether different. You're really beautiful. <laughs> Did you know that you got brar patch arms? You know, I want a sin sin? Hey, Millicent, why'd you get it? I'm sorry, honey, you look so much like my sister for a minute, I thought it was her. <laughs> in just a moment. The new Red Skelton show is brought to you tonight by Johnson's Wax, makers of super hard gloss glow coat. And next week by Pet Evaporated Milk and Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk. Is this the kind of gravy the folks like at your house? The good, rich, creamy, smooth kind? Then they'll always like the gravy you make with the recipe on the Pet Evaporated Milk label. It's fail-proof. And it's easy. Just mix your flour and seasonings into meat drippings or other fat and stir in vegetable liquid, meat broth, or water. Boil for two minutes. Mix in pet milk and heat. See how rich it looks. That's because pet evaporated milk is good whole milk concentrated to double richness. Look for this good milk gravy recipe on the pet milk shelf at your grocery store. And try the other recipes on pet milk labels too. You'll like them. Thank you, Bert. So long for a while. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, <laughs> we would like to take this opportunity of thanking Johnson's Wax for making our little visit possible. And thanks to you for looking in, for allowing us to come into your home. I'd like to thank my good friend, Reginald Denny, for being on the show tonight. And the bear, we'd like to thank the uh, game warden from uh, San Bernardino for sending him. <laughs> it's a real bear. You can look inside and see what he ate. <laughs> And we'd like to thank our wonderful guest star tonight, a lovely lady, Mary McCartney. <laughs> so now until next week, when our show is brought to you by Pet Milk, may we say good night and good luck. Good night.